seen this fin tail off a of lift though, right? Yeah. That's how you know it's progress being made in. <laughs> right, at this point I would say, okay, this is good enough for me to just uh, go ahead with the paint ceiling. The first 45 years of AMG, all the builds, every single build in the first 45 years. It's all custom and literally frame off. Look at this. I'd rather go original chassis than any reproduction chassis. And they're not even that easy to find reproductions. It's not even worth it. What's up guys? Back here at the Patina Collective. Just got a special package right here from Europe. Very special, very, very special badge. It's super rare and it's going to be used on the ABC exclusive. It's being painted right now. It's an SEC and it does not have a badge on it. So we will put this one on it. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Paid a lot of money for this. Very rare. And you will not find another one. That's for sure. It got damaged. Well, there it is, guys. Sadly, it got damaged in transit, but it will go on the ABC exclusive and it will be on the road soon. Hello, hello. How are you? How's it going in the shop? Good, yeah, working, working. We're getting this one, uh, fix it out the high, it's rubbing all over the place with the tires and the fender. Same as the red one outside, we did the same. We moved this one also inside, the, uh, it was all apart, we back all together on the fuel pump of the system. Nice, so you already yeah. cleaned the tank on this? Yeah, with that, with that one. Okay. Also, this one is running already, and we adjust the brakes, uh, we loosen it up, so it moved. We still need some work to do. We need to do the carburetors. They're not completely sealed, so we need to seal it. And also, I ordered a conversion kit to put in the electronic ignition. It's been a minute since you've seen this fin tail off a of lift, though, right? Yeah. That's how you know it's progress being made in. <laughs> it's running, it's moving, it's down off this lift. Look, now we got a whole nother car on this lift. Eduardo. Eduardo, un placer. We got the Babbitt 140, which is getting paint corrected. We have the E320. I cleaned it up, so it's just waiting to go to Vico's. Those two cars in the back. The Typhoon will be going to get fully restored. And then we have this 126 right hand drive, the wide body, that we're just waiting on Lewis to come and take a look at it. So. Nice. As of now, this is my only focus. Get into it, man. That's what we got going on here. Do you know uh, where the Typhoon is going? I have no idea. I haven't really heard too much. Speaking of Typhoon, so it is going to get paint and restored and all that. I personally want to, while it's in here, I want to play with it a little bit. So, as you can see, I took this one spot and I, I just rubbed some compound on it. So, it'd be... Pretty amazing to see this paint go from this dull, corroded, white, nasty looking paint to having this polished and shining without paint. Just yeah, straight, yeah, right. You know, just straight paint correction, just straight satin, Julio special. This is one of those ammo NYC barn fires that he takes and turns them into for a sure. masterpiece. You know, it's like for example, look at the interior, how dirty it is. Just I know for a fact, taking the steam cleaner, some rag, boom, I'll have oh, this dude, leather you white. You gotta do some before and after on that. that would right? Be no, this sick. is gonna be guys. Follow my Instagram, Satin Auto Details, and stay tuned. You're gonna see some crazy behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> 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 that was one pass with the uh, yellow pad. You still see some swirls, some little swirl marks and stuff. So you can see it getting toned down. It's getting a lot better. So probably yeah. I'll hit it with another pass, another two passes with that. And then I'll drop down, um, I'll go with the green pad, a lighter compound, and we'll see what finish we get with that. We'll take it from there. So you just hit with the green pad? Yeah, so. 
Oh man, yeah, it's already like. So this would be considered a multi-step paint correction. And at this point, you would call uh, that done, right? Right, at this point, I would say, okay, this is good enough for me to just uh, go ahead with the paint sealant and just apply that, that paint protection. If you do too much, then you might fuck it up. Toca hacerlo, bajarlo y ver cómo queda. Sí, prueba y... Y prueba, y prueba, y prueba. something in high school I saw as a timeless chassis. My uncle had a black and white one. He always would say he drove his black one at night, white one in the daytime. And it just stuck with me since then. I was probably 15, 16 at the time. And I kind of just fell in love with it, said I have to have one. Well, Ended up buying a black one maybe two and a half years later. Uh, that's what started my binge journey at least. Sick. A lot of these things, they start when you're young, you don't even realize that it's just like an idea in your mind implanted there by, in this case, your uncle. And you're in your little collection right now, what you got going on? Right now, uh, probably an order that I acquired, it was the Black 124 Sportline Edition. While I was trying to shop for parts for that, I came across a Cabriolet 124, red with black, had to have it. Also looking for parts. Came across a 600 SEL, the 140, long wheel base, uh, white with gray interior. That's my fiance's favorite, she won't let me get rid of it. So yeah. nothing for sale definitely is the vibe <laughs> going here. Uh, I like that. Since she took that one over, I had to go get the coupe. So I got the black 140 coupe. Mm. Getting so many cars, I knew I had to start trailing my own. So I went and got a black ML 55, the AMG, so at least could tell my own cars. But the gem of the collection, what led me to wanting more collector investment grade is the right-hand drive that I have. It's a 92 124 sedan. It's a 320E, it's modeled as a 320E, but it has the facelift even though it's a 92. So mm. Is that the only one in California you said? Only one, first one in California first that came uh, when it was able to come 25 years. Is this just your personal Benz collection? Yeah, just my personal Benz. I think we're at seven now. Uh, nice. Oh, I missed one. That's right. I missed one. So I bought a R129. Actually, it was shortly after Vico let me drive his, but you're sitting behind uh, the tuned SL500. Uh, I blessed enough one day when he had it at the big stadium that was being pulled out for whatever reason. He said, hop in. And my fiance and I took it for a cruise and I, I fell in love with the drop top of it, the feel, the cabin, the way the seats hold you, so. I'll never forget when I got my first R129, when I first, first drove it, the guys met me in like some parking lot. And I literally went in like a circle. And I'm like, yes, let's go. And it was so dope, like it felt so solid and so heavy. But at the same time, so like nimble. No, nothing beats the 129. Today was a special day, just came back from the big, big, big museum building. That's right, not the stadium, the museum building. Hopefully we'll be moving in uh, ASAP and starting to uh, build and design the upcoming museum, the Patina Collective Museum that will be opening in hopefully early 2024. But um, until then guys, stay tapped in, stay tuned in. It's the biggest ever do it, it's the Patina Collective. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Patina Collective, the greatest place in the world. Today we got some special, special packages, including this right here, straight from France. Man, a long time ago, about like five, six months ago, someone hit me up and he sent me a picture of DM and he said, you need to have this book. It was the AMG 45, the story book. And it's this right here. It's the first 45 years of AMG. Let's open it up, very special book. It took me a long time. I finally got a box cutter. No more using the pen. Straight from France, guys. I couldn't find it anywhere else. It's like excavating, feel me? We're like excavating an artifact right here, guys. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You keep digging. All the builds, every single build in the first 45 years. Uh, this book came out, I think, in 2010. Didn't make that many. 
They're scattered all over the world. People got them. The people that got them, they're not selling them. I don't know the condition it's in. Um, I don't care. I just wanted it because I know I wouldn't find it. So here we are. Oh, well. It looks very, 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 very mint, actually. A very thick and heavy AMG book. Official. The first 45 years, every single bill. Incredible. You gotta look at a couple. Look, look at you see the red pig right away. You know? You got some legendary cars. 190E, the Evos. So, man. It's very, very deep, guys. It gets very deep. Boom. The next package we're gonna open today. This one right here is a very special badge. It's for the S72. The S72 that we got right here does not have the proper badging on it. So we have to make sure we got the correct badging. All right. You know, no one else gonna have it but Japan. So, boom. Very thoroughly packaged by our Japanese brethren. The original 7.2 badging from Mercedes though. With the Mercedes little packaging. And you know this is rare. You know you don't find this anywhere ever. So, boom, right there. So just going through this book, guys. A lot of special cars. The 6.9 450 SEL, 300 SL, obviously the Gullwing, the 230E, 4.5, the 280TE wagon. And then we fall on this right here. Special, special unicorn that we have in the collection. Ours is actually a 300 GE convertible, but nonetheless, very special. It has the front of a W116. And now I can see everything is correct. Those holes that I have in mind are correct. They're supposed to be there. This is what you do, you use the encyclopedia. This is the AMG encyclopedia, guys. We're gonna do a deep dive on this book, definitely. Cause I know it's hard for you to get this book. So I'm gonna go on a deep dive and have just episodes here and there where we talk about uh, different models and stuff. What's the word, bro? How you been, bro? Good, good. What's up with you? Chillin'. Yeah, it's just the worst. Okay, <laughs> <I'm> easy. <laughs> oh, that sucks bottom for me. I have my brother. Oh, he's gonna give me a package. I'm gonna give him a package. A Russian one. All right. Oh yes, this is a good friend of ours, Vadim. Yeah, Vadim got us a lot of parts. We got all those parts that we opened on that one video, guys. With all this packaging that looked like this. That's from our Russian guys over there. Said so I want to send you something special. For the museum. Grab a piece of the yeah, grab that. So big. Woo! Damn. Nasty. Nasty. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, our boys, Ukraine and Russia. We know your brothers at heart. That's Put the hard. guns down. Show love. That's Damn, hard. Yeah, that's sick. That's sicker than I thought. Benz can go over there like like Farrakhan and squash like the Crips and the Bloods. We can go over there and solve it all using Benzes out there. All love and Benzes. I want to talk to my gangbanger family. Yeah. Oh. You know, we're going to AMG today. Look, it's an AMG kind of day. You know what I mean? We got one more package right here. I'm going to let my dog Daniel do the, the, the honors. Here's a guest, guys. It's from Texas. Mm. So you know we're coming in heavy. <laughs> I see that orange. Orange. Another Patina piece. Patina baby. So Jay Leno's in his garage, and the fucking car just explodes and catches fire and burns half of his face. No way. Bro, he's in the hospital right now. It must have been a BMW. <laughs> Haram. <laughs> Haram. Probably the Beamer. Blood right there, and I mean one of the few in the world that have a patina piece, so he's gonna rock it out there in Canada, show, show them boys what it's about. I wanna give a shout out to my guy, Momo Maserati. That's my dog right there, you know what I mean? Ravani's a huge brand in Berlin, a huge street brand, they're killing it out there. This is the box that he, he sent me. Um, we never really went through it, so I'm gonna go through it right now. First we got the Ravani tee right here that I wore in that photo shoot. You can see it on my Instagram. Custom made Ravani tees, a few of them. This one got the monoblock wheel in Momo's hand with the Roly, with the Arabic dial in different colors. I mean, a lot of people message me about getting this tee right here. This is the CLK tee. 
nasty. You know what I mean, to awake. I mean, that is that part of your collection? Or is that or is that a no, picture? No, that's, that's his own picture. He's been doing a lot of branding with Mercedes uh, things for a long time. He actually did a collab with Nike with a Mercedes. Yeah, here's another custom tee. I haven't worn this one yet. And then these are crazy, man. These are dope. So me, I'm Arabic. I'm Lebanese. I mean, as you know, so we have a thing called the Ain. I mean, the Nuzzle. Arabic. So he's got you know the evil eye on the on the back. I'm saying so. Very dope. Very very dope stuff, man. I mean, he sent me different colored ones. This is a crazy pack he sent. You know what I mean, Ravani sock. And then this is a dope one. This is a this is the Damn. the outfit. Boom. You know I mean? Nice material. That's crazy. That's the shorts. I mean, got the top. Then we got another Ravani shirt with the multicolored iron right there. The nuzzle. A lot of Ravani. Look at that. Look at that. You know I mean? We got a bunch of stickers too. So shout out to my dog, man. Momo Maserati, Ravani. So follow them on Instagram. That's their ad right there. Follow them. All right, guys. As you can see, at the overflow, uh, Brad is gone. He's uh, not with us anymore. We got a new guy right now in there working on some stuff. Uh, Eduardo, he's going to get some stuff done. So we're looking forward to getting those cars out of there. So uh, shout out to my guy, Lewis, that's working over there, and my guy, Eduardo. And uh, hopefully, we start knocking out some cars. Let's go. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, man? How's it going? Oh, look who's back. Yeah, from Germany. Back in Florida, huh? In the flesh. How you doing, bro? Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's the biggest ever. And our guy, Anthony, is back from the motherland, Deutschland. Shout out to my guy, Anthony. He's gonna tell us a little more about what he's been doing out there. <laughs> yeah, man, it's been crazy out there in Germany. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the reel of the wide body SL. So that one is shipping over fairly soon. Pretty excited to have it here, honestly, it fits in perfectly. It's kind of like a Batman mobile, so it goes along with the theme. And uh, yeah, plenty more cars over there. I uh, just picked up a special car, 190 Schultz, and that one's gonna be finished in the next couple months Another as well. one? Yeah, yeah, so we have the white one. Uh, we have a reel of that one too, but now I uh, flew to Norway actually oh, to pick up a champagne colored one. So that one's gonna be sick. The frown fascia is different. It's like the SEC nose. But uh, I think those two in tandem are gonna look sick. So that's yeah. dope. Yeah, man. So uh, he also got the Kugok coming uh, from the, the king of Saudi Arabia, I believe it yes, was. Correct. And um, also have um, the wide body step on that he's working on. So all crazy builds. Oh, that's that's an insane build that's gonna go on. Yeah, insanely wide car. So if you thought a Koenig was wide, that's I don't know, like 20% even wider than that. And. Uh, we're having um, Kruger Classics restore the body on that, so they're gonna do a phenomenal job on all that fiberglass and everything, paint it fresh and make that yellow interior really pop, so, yeah. Shout out to all my people in Germany, man. Shout out to my guy, Anthony, out there killing it for us. He's heading back soon. He's just making a pit stop over here in America to take care of a few things. So definitely stay tuned, and we're gonna try to get Anthony to start sending us some footage from over there while he's doing all the stuff he's doing, all the builds and stuff. Today, though, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head over to Cardinal and go check out our uh, G Wagon build, the custom Patina G Wagon build. Yeah, you know, it's like whipping that drop top E class, baby. As you see right there, the 126, the SD, the diesel. You feel me? The SDL, the long version. What's up, man? Matthew McConaughey. I need some assistance. Oh, you yeah. need to get out too. Yeah. God, I can't forget the camera, man, huh? Italy. He used oh, this, really? He used this to go up and down the mountain to build his house. This is the only way he can get the building material up Wait. and down the mountain. See, guys, nobody's going to use a BMW to build a crib. Come on. That's silly. Uh, I have Frank Sinatra's uh, SGS limousine, and I want to put the SGS front bumper and rear bumper on there. And uh, I think it's like the old ones, they're just all brittle. Wait, is, is that the limo you posted on your story? Yeah, 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 oh, exactly. Nice. So I want to do a uh, 904 blue, white interior, and it's going to be nice. With the bar and everything, that's it. And nice. It's, it's, yeah. And just in case the mic didn't pick that up, that's Frank Sinatra's SDS yeah. limo. 
Yeah. Is that confirmed or speculated? That's confirmed. That's confirmed. Shout yeah. out to Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here with the guy himself, Matt from Cardinal. He's been Sir. slaving away for over a year now on this W460 chassis, G-Wagon, military style convertible. And we really brought it to a next level, guys. This is the first patina G-Wagon build. It's all custom and literally frame off. Look at this. The springs. Uh, yeah, the springs are pink. The interior is going to be pink. Uh, we're going to have Alcantara pink interior. And we will be wrapping some of those seats you guys saw in that video. Uh, Recaro seats. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. I mean, right here. And uh, tap in. But yeah, guys, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this build. So uh, let's talk to our guy, Matt, and see what he has to say about it. So we got the G-Wagon body and chassis back. All here, ready for assembly. Um, all powder-coated parts. All new bushings. The chassis was uh, sandblasted, acid dipped, and powder coated. You, talk dirty to me. you can sandblast and powder coat a chassis, but you'll never get inside of it and powder coat it. So it's nice to have the acid coat everything and neutralize all the rust. Matt usually does the fenders. So um, we came into his shop because uh, Anthony was actually buying a W140. I mentioned to him that I had a showroom in Boca. And then I told him I was vintage mess collector and he knew who I was. So we walked into the shop that day and he showed me some builds he was working on. Really incredible stuff, really in-depth stuff. He takes these defenders to the next, next, next level. I told him, I'm like, one day we'll work on something, just say it like that. But then one day this one came up. This G-Wagon came with the W116 G-Wagon that we have, the one with the converted front AMG. When we bought that one, it actually came as a bonus. So I said, why not let's throw it to Matt and see what he could do with it. So let's talk to Matt more about what he's doing to this car and also what he usually does on the Defenders. We got this thing in pretty rough shape. Uh, it was in California, sat without a roof on it. So water pulled up in areas and caused a lot of rust. Um, all this here was rusted mm -hmm. out, wasn't it? You yeah. refabricated it, all yeah. those things. Yep, yeah. all, the, all the rocker panels were rotted. These back corner pieces are replacement sheet metal. Yeah. And I, um, I remember from the last video, you guys had to order some stuff from Germany, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, Germany, Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine, Russia, even right yeah. before the, all that stuff happened. And all the panels are OEM. Even the chassis, come over here, I'll show you. On the spring cups back here were rotted. Yeah, I remember that. Well, yeah, it was just, I, I think, think we're obvious video that you can that, yeah. think of water sitting and pooling for a long period of time. It just kind of rotted through. I'd rather go original chassis than any reproduction chassis. And they're not even that easy to find reproductions. Not even worth it. So Body came off, went through a lot of vigorous hammering and dollying to get it nice and straight. Yeah, but you did a really good job on it, honestly. Like, it's very impressive to see the transformation. I mean, it's been quite some time, but from where we started and now where it's at, mm -hmm. it's, it's been quite yeah, progress. Try not to kill myself on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the Land Rovers they do here, they're kind of, I've got it down to a system where I can call somebody and get a motor, call somebody get chassis, call somebody get wires, lines, everything, but Mercedes isn't really like that. You can't, there's not a big aftermarket rebuild support. Yeah, we're getting crate cars. engines, right? That's, yeah, that's like a GM thing, Ford so. thing. And uh, with the Mercedes engine, we had to find something that's like in a G500, so we have a bit more power. But uh, I mean, it's an M113, so that came in a whole bunch of cars. But mm -hmm. how far along do you think we are right now at this point with the G Wagon build? Where are we at? So right now, I mean, we're really ready to make a rolling chassis, put the body back on it and then uh, give it soul again, put the motor back in it, you know, wire it up and mm -hmm. figure it out from there. I um, think transmission is one of the open spots that we still have, right? Transmission is really the only thing that yeah. we don't have at the moment. But you told me something, uh, isn't it Estonia or something like that, where they have uh, the TCU control module or something like that that we need? Yeah, so it goes TCU, around? There's a TCU control on a trans. Yeah. I think that, yeah, that's all uh, relative, but. So, I mean, really once we get a trans, I'll be able to set it in there. I gotta make a couple drive shafts and it'll be good. Nice, custom drive shaft? Just one from the middle of the trans to the trans. Okay. Well, that, and where, where do you get that done? Like, is that local, uh, Florida? Or? They're local in Florida. No. I got two guys. They're about an hour away uh -huh. in each direction. Have you figured out what you want to do with the cluster? You want to do a digital one? So we're gonna yeah we're gonna do a digital one. And you wanted to build a custom bracket? Yeah, we're gonna make a surround. Probably gonna do something 3D printed, cool. 3D design it printed. Like the uh, all the interiors at uh, E3 of Wall Street. Oh, okay. They, they have 76 pieces. Yeah, have you have you seen any pictures? Have they uh, gotten the fabric from Italy yet? So they have the uh, leather they fabric. Sweet in your so they have the leather fabric from Italy, and then there's an Alcantara that we were having a problem finding in that color because I know we, we want to do yeah, yeah, yeah. like a, yeah. a mix. And of this it. is the. Uh, oh, the yeah, that, that's it. So there's gonna be a lot more of this on this truck. We're gonna do the hinges. Oh. Um, 
And I think that turned out sick. Oh, here's a cool one that I kind of forgot about. That this, uh, this gas cap here, we're going to do rose gold. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that's good. Uh, you say we're about 70% uh, on this truck right now? Yeah. Good 60. 60? Yeah. All right. We're Once we 60%. get a trans, I can put wires in it and then details. I spend my time on doing little details and making sure everything fits good and runs good. Stops and moves. Yeah. Right, like the the last ten percent is always like the, the worst. Yeah. yeah. So this so this truck is definitely gonna be rolling out of here in 2023, guys. Uh, sadly, we couldn't make the deadline of November 2022, but it is what it is, man. We're striving for perfection at the Patina Collective, and that's just what we do over here. So shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody that got rose gold uh, gas caps, and um, we out here, man. It's the biggest ever. Do it. Shout out to Cardinal, and keep tapping in, man. Keep finding these very unicorns and sending them to me because yeah. you know. We gotta bring them over and the museum is coming soon. Let's go.